Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our floral mailbox. I've got all my pieces cut out here in front of me, as should you. All right, so we're gonna start off by putting together our base here. All right, and as you can see, this is the main part of the base. Now we have this little hole here, um, and I'll explain what that's for while we're gluing this together. We're gonna begin by applying glue to one of these tabs and joining these vertical walls together. I'll spread that glue out to the very edge of my tabs. Okay. Now, before we begin, um, these side panels, I'm just gonna get those in place now, just because it's a lot easier to do this while it's flat. And you've got two that are gonna go on the long sides, two on the short sides, and we have a panel that's gonna go on top. Um, now, you'll notice that there's, a, there's two holes on the top of this thing. One is for the post, and then there's another tiny little hole, and that is a little access hole in case you want to fill this with something to make it a little bit more bottom heavy, a little more sturdy. Let's say you're planning on giving this or, or putting something that's maybe a little bit heavier in there as a gift, and you want the base to be a little bit sturdier, that hole is there so that you can fill this with whatever you want to fill it with, whether it be some coffee beans or, you know, they actually sell specific like little f bags of fill that you would use inside of a planter. Whatever it is you want to fill it with. Some, I've used lentils in the past, which in my studio is not a great idea because I do, it's not, the, it's not the most airtight or it's not the most sealed environment. So I do get some mice in here sometimes. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it's the truth. And I noticed that they, they try to get into that stuff. Okay, so that's gonna go like that. Okay, so leave that alone for now. We'll begin by applying glue to one of these tabs now. And spread that out nice and thin. Bring it over to the neighboring wall. Line that up as accurately as you can. Press that down. That looks nice. Make sure you take your time, get it all the way out to that very edge. Okay, and we'll hop over here. Let's apply our glue to the next little tab here. Spread that out nice and thin. And line it up. There we go. We'll move on over here. Just take your time, make it nice and pretty. I did not get enough glue on there. We're in the middle of a snowstorm. Luckily, I got uh, got some meat with Diana last night to go over things before it all hit. I woke up this morning to about eight inches of snow. I was out about 5.30 this morning, plowing the driveway making sure that just in case we needed to get out, we could get out. And by the time I got myself all ready to go for my videos, there's probably another three inches on the ground already. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be one of those. We'll just hope that, hope that we uh, maintain power throughout this storm. Otherwise, we'll be building some fires, I guess. Okay, so we got all four sides in place now. We're gonna take this piece, um, there are some other pieces that look like this, okay, but this one's wider. These are not as wide. Those are going to be for the actual mailbox. And what we're going to do here is we're going to apply some glue to just one of the tabs. This will be our anchor tab. We'll spread that out to the very edge. Okay. And... Here we go. 
Make sure it's right out to the very edge. This is gonna be the bottom, so no one's really gonna see this, but you still wanna make sure you do your best. Bring that down and press down from the inside as well. Help the rest of that tab's surface make contact with the bottom. There we go. Okay. Nice clean seam. Let's move that out of the way. We're gonna apply glue to the remaining three tabs and can go a little bit heavier here since we need a little extra time and there's a lot of surface area and take and spread that out to the very edge want it to be a little wet should feel wet and not tacky we got a little bit of glue there okay and we're gonna close this up focus on getting it aligned here with this side here opposite of where it's already hinged all the way out to the edge, make sure it's centered. Both sides. There we go. Okay. Just keep running your fingers along the perimeter. Make sure it's making good contact. Put that down. Use your surface to help you. Okay, check your seams. See, the problem is I put that down and then I lifted it up because I had to readjust it. So if that, if you need to readjust and you have some some gaps, grab a scrap piece of paper and just give that a little extra, a little extra glue in that spot there, and it'll shape right up. Okay, and just hold that down. Make sure it gets nice and flush. I've got two more little gaps that I gotta fix. Not a big deal though, it happens all the time. In this case, I'm just gonna use my same scrap. Should be fine. There we go. And one more little guy there. And just hold that down until it's all perfectly flush. Okay, so now that we have this built, um, we're not quite ready to put this down yet. Uh, we will after we build the vertical post, okay, which is this piece here, all right? And one side, this is gonna be the bottom, that's gonna go in. This is gonna be, these tabs we're gonna use to actually connect the uh, main part of the mailbox to the post. Okay, so what we need to do at this point in time is apply some glue to this tab. So go ahead and do that. Spread that out to the very edge. And then what you can actually do since this piece is symmetrical is lay this down flat, grab the other end and just pop it right down. Right onto there. Okay. Fold it over onto that seam, make sure. Okay, there we go. All right, now we can move, we'll call this the lid. Move that lid out of the way and we can apply glue to these tabs here. We'll go ahead and close this up. And I'm not putting the panels on right now because we're gonna wait until most of this is put together before we do just to make sure that we get it on correctly. That's kind of what we decided when we were doing the prototype, it was the best way to do it. Okay, go ahead and close that up. Focus on getting this one aligned first. Make sure it's straight. You might have to kind of mess with the shape of it a little bit by kind of pushing walls in or out to get it to align correctly. You have a little hole in here, access hole. Get your finger in there so you can get the rest of the tab glued on there nicely. Okay. These tabs here, we're gonna use these to connect the actual mailbox to the post. Okay, but what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna actually pop this in here all the way down to the bottom. Okay, and then once we're done, we'll take and glue this down. But for now, go ahead and apply your glue. You can go kind of heavy with the glue on this. OK, 
Okay, be very careful not to, well, I guess, yeah, be careful not to get glue on your structure. Okay, pop that down and press. And it might be helpful to get a dowel to push down on the rest of that. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. All right, now, now is the time where if you are going to add some fill to this, you can go ahead and put it in. And you wanna, obviously, if you need to, if your fill is larger than that hole, you can actually cut this a little bit bigger because we're gonna be covering it up. Just make sure you don't cut it obnoxiously and cut into this little area here, okay? Let me make sure I did all that right, I did, okay. So I'm not filling mine up, I'm leaving mine alone, but if you wanna fill it, now's the time to fill it. And then, once you are done filling it, we're gonna put this panel on to cover it up and, and finish off the top. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my glue to this panel. There we go. And just make sure you've got it nice and centered. Nice even border around the inside as well as around the perimeter. Just like that. Okay. And just continue pressing down. Uh, we built the base so that it was had a wide enough footprint to hold up our mailbox without feeling flimsy. Okay, and I'm going to go around and clean up some of these little areas here where I have some gaps. I don't know what's going on right now. I think I'm out of practice a little bit. Had a long break. It's not always a good thing. Okay, just going around the perimeter, making sure everything's sitting nice and flat. Okay, so again, we have these uh, little panels that are gonna go on this guy here. Okay, but we're gonna wait until we actually have the mailbox in there. I think we're just gonna, I think we should be okay, uh, but we'll wait. Put that off to the side for now. And let's take a look at, I'm gonna put together the, the front of the mailbox first. Okay, and that's gonna be right here. So this is the part that opens and closes. Pretty straightforward. We're gonna find this piece here with the little teeth on it, and then this piece here with the tab. Okay, these are overlays, so we don't need to worry about those right now. Okay, and here's what we're gonna do. Um, here's my texture side. I'm gonna fold the tab in, and we're actually gonna work our way from the outside this is essentially what we have called over the years the skeleton piece. And we're gonna glue it down like this, okay? So it doesn't matter which side you start on. I'm gonna apply glue to the inside part of this tab, like so. And then you can see this is the, the bottom. You want this to match up with the very bottom of, you can actually do this flat once you have it lined up on the inside. Okay, so you can see that tab is glued right there. And give that a few seconds to set and just kind of wrap it around and make sure that the other end also terminates right at the very bottom. And that looks pretty darn good. So here's what we're gonna do. We've done this a handful of times as well. Flare these out, and we're gonna begin by applying glue to just like maybe three or four or five of these little teeth. And then what you can do is tuck those under, push that up against our little skeleton piece, push down from the inside, and continue applying a force up against this little skeleton piece. Okay, there we go. And that's what it should look like on the front. Okay, so now we'll take and flare out a few more. Just little dots. 
and flare those under. Pushing up against this piece here that I'm tapping on and pushing down from the inside. There we go. Okay, see how easy that is. I've got four teeth left and then the main long piece. There we go. And that matched up pretty darn good. Okay. So now we'll flare this out, apply some glue to this tab, fold it in, push up against that little piece there, and press down. Okay, now this we're actually going to use to, uh, well, we're going to connect that to the main part of our uh, mailbox so that, you know, it's going to act as the hinge, essentially. All right, so next, you can take and this piece here has an F on it. F is for front, and that's gonna go right on the front here to cover up those little tabs, okay? And we wanna try to get that aligned as accurately as possible so that everything is nice and flush. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna apply glue to the structure that we just put, assembled here. And I'm gonna be semi-generous with the glue here, because we do need to spread that out so everything looks nice and seamless. Might need to go in and kind of clean this up by doing a little painting. Okay. So just line that up as accurately as you can. Make sure it is nice and flush all the way around. Press that down. Okay. If you need to, using a dowel like this up uh, against the edges, never a bad idea. And let's take a look at our seams here. Oops. Okay, and if we have any, if you have any gaps, just grab yourself a scrap piece of paper, just throw a little bit of glue in there and just hold it in place until it's nice and flush. Okay, it's never gonna be completely perfect, but we sure as heck can try. Okay, so I had a little bit of a camera glitch. Um, so you're seeing this a little bit ahead of time. Um, the last thing that you saw was me putting the, uh, the, the main structural piece onto this, okay? Since then, I've added this panel here, okay? So you have a, a patterned paper panel that's going to go on top of that. And then this is a little pocket uh, for the little heart. Now, the pocket is this piece here. I'm just going to show you how it works, and we'll kind of pretend that I'm putting it on since I've already done it. You're going to fold it like this. You're gonna apply glue to all three of these tabs. You're gonna spread that out as we normally do. Okay, and on this decorative panel, there are two little score marks there. So what I would do, just to make this easier, is take and really score this nice and deep so that it sits more flat. Okay, apply your glue, obviously. And you're gonna match that up with the bottom left and bottom right-hand corners. Okay, once you have it on there, I flipped it over and I pressed down from this side since you can't really push down from the other side, otherwise you'll crush your, the front of your mailbox. 
Okay, and that will pop that in place. And then you have a little decorative piece that's gonna go right on top. Okay, and there's little markers here to help you with the placement of those. Okay, so, uh, and then the one other thing that I did not show yet is applying this piece. This is an extra piece that's gonna go right on top of the main structure. And what I did to apply this was I applied glue to this portion here. Obviously you wanna make sure you get your glue on there nicely. Okay, then the main structure has this little piece. You're gonna pop that right on there. Make sure that it's on there, okay? I'm gonna wipe the glue off now so that I can kinda of continue to show you how this works without actually gluing it on there because that is my final color. Okay, so it's gonna be on like this. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is just apply glue to the rest of this, like so, all the way down to the very edge and just glue it down onto that structure on this side. And then you'll apply glue to this piece all the way down, apply a little bit right out to the edge and then bring that down as well, all the way down, okay? So that's all you've really missed when my camera glitched out. Now we're at this point here, we have this decorative piece. We have two lengths for this decorative piece, one that's longer, one that's shorter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna begin with the longer one. And you'll notice on this piece that we just put on here, there are a series of score marks and that's to help you with the placement of this, just to ensure that it's nice and centered. Okay, what we're gonna do is wrap this around like so. Try to keep that right in the middle. Okay. So we'll go ahead and begin applying our glue. You don't have to put it on the entire thing initially if you don't want. I'm gonna do it anyway. You can kind of do it in little sections. Again, make sure you pop it right in between those little markers and it should be flush with the bottom. Okay, and then just go ahead and apply it. Make sure that you keep it nice and centered as you work your way up. And then kind of use your thumb or your finger, whatever finger you're using to press that down up against the main structure. Make sure it's nice and flush, no gaps. There we go, just like that. And then we'll take this other piece and we're gonna start it down here glue it up and it's gonna overlap onto the other one ever so slightly, okay? So you can go ahead and apply your glue there. Again, use those little markers there at the bottom to help you with the centering. Make sure it's flush with the bottom. Work your way up. Now before you push down, Make sure that it sits right on top of that previous layer. Should be perfectly flush on top of it. There we go, just like that. Okay. And there we go. There's just a tiny bit too long to be one strip based on the limitations of our machines. Okay, uh, one other thing too, that we have is got a little gold piece that we're gonna put right here. And that's gonna get centered right onto that little section. So we can do that now. I just put a few little drops of glue onto this. We did this in a gold foil. Okay. And yeah, just do your best to get that nice and centered. And if you don't want to press onto the foil, like I never do in case I have glue on my fingers, you can push from the other side, get that on there nicely. Okay, and then finally, whoa, where did that come from? Finally, we have this little decorative strip here and this thing is, almost goes the entire length of this little section, but not quite. Okay, there's a little bit of a gap at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do here is just kind of lay it over and take a look at it and then try to identify 
the center scallop. So that is my center scallop there. I'm just going to grab that. And there it is right there. And what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of glue right on that center one and then maybe just one or two over. Okay, just remember which one's your, your center one. Okay, and that's gonna go right on that little center seam. And just hold that down, make sure you've got it nice and straight. And just kind of bring it down and make sure it's good and centered. Looks good. Okay, and now what we can do is apply our glue to the rest of this. Just a nice little thin line will do all the way out to the edge. Spread that glue out with my finger and then take it and very gently run it along that pattern paper. There we go. And then the same thing on the other side. Nice and thin. Try to keep it as centered as you can. And there we go. Just make sure it's nice and flush as well. All right, while we're working on this real quick, um, mostly because I'm putting cardstock on foil, uh, this little heart here is the heart that's gonna go in this little pocket. Uh, it's decorative, uh, but you can also put a little note on there or put to and the name and then from you or whoever it's from. But we're gonna apply some glue to the cardstock in my case. I'm going to apply that right onto the gold foil. Make sure you get it nice and centered. Okay. So foil is a little slippery, so make sure you've got it where you want it. And then you can press down from the other side. Okay, there we go. And that's just going to go right in the front like that. All right, so we're going to start by we're going to start making the main part of the mailbox here. We've got these two main pieces, and we kind of need to join them. <laughs> we're talking like I talked to Peyton. We're going to need to join them. Okay, so you have a series of score marks here towards the bottom where the tab is. Um, those are just to remind you not to fold anything or train anything. Uh, under this section here, from here to here. Don't train anything, same with this. And there's another set of score marks here, okay? Now, one other thing that you'll notice too is that the back of this, this is all gonna be completely straight. So when you go to align these, you wanna make sure that this is all nice and flush and straight. Now. On the inside of this longer piece, it does kind of curve in a little bit, and that's okay. Don't worry too much about that. We just want to make sure that this is nice and straight. And what we're going to do before we get started here, you're going to take your take a nice half inch dowel at least, and we're going to put this lar longer piece on our table, put the dowel right on top of it, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it this way. I'm take this, lift it up, and just run it through. Okay, and you can see how it kind of gave it a little bit of a curve. I'm going to do that one more time. Okay, and that just kind of gets it going in the direction that we need it to go in. I'm going to do the same thing on this side here. Keep Make sure these little teeth are nice and flat so we don't rip them off. Do the same thing here. Okay, and that just gave it a little bit of a curve. Okay, that's gonna help us get this nice and round. Okay, and again, so this shorter piece, we're gonna glue on top of the longer piece. You're gonna take this and as far as positioning goes, you wanna literally put it right on top of those score marks so that they just barely disappear. Okay, and that, that'll tell you that you've got it in the right spot. And then while we do, while we do that, Let's make sure that this back is nice and flush here, okay? It's gonna be pretty important if we wanna make this fit properly. All right, so here's also what I'm gonna do. On the longer piece, I'm going to apply the glue 
I want to make sure we keep it below the score mark like that. I don't want to go too crazy with the glue. And then on this one, I'm going to put glue right up to the very edge. I'm going to go a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to spread that out to the very edge. Okay. And then, as I mentioned, I'm going to pop that right on top so that the little score marks just barely disappear. There we go. Press that down. It's okay if it's it's okay that we're doing it flat now. Not a big deal. It already has that memory of being trained and made round. I'm gonna be patient here so that that seam dries nice and flat. Try not to. If we have a little bit of a gap, it's okay. It's gonna be covered up by this panel. So I'm not overly concerned about it, but we wanna to try to get that as tight as possible, okay? And that seems to be pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna take and just very gently, just kinda of roll it up against the dowel, just to kinda of train it and get it to look kinda of round. Let's see how that looks, that looks pretty good, okay? Got my back nice and flush, and that'll work. Okay, now we're gonna take this little piece with the little tab on it, it has a B on the bottom of it. Okay, and just like we did with the, with the little door, we're gonna take and glue this, and we're gonna start by gluing the two long tabs in place first. I wanna make sure that these tabs here are on the same plane as we glue this onto the face. Okay, that's also going to be pretty important. So what we can do is begin applying glue to this tab. And line that up as accurately as you can. You need to push that up against the side of this as far as it'll go. Make sure it's nice and aligned. Okay, I'm gonna put this down on my surface now. And give that a nice push in up against that little B piece. Making sure that those tabs are, again, on the same plane. So we gotta put a bottom on this and we want them to be on the same plane. Okay, now we're gonna take this other side and we're gonna glue that into place. I'm gonna bring that down. So this tab now, and you may get a little bit of resistance, but that's okay. Kind of grab that and glue that onto the face. Okay, make sure it's as lined up as possible. And then I'm gonna can push that down. Okay, again, making sure that those, those bottom tabs are on the same plane so that when we go to put the bottom on, then you can see how all that's left now is to take and glue these tabs to that surface, which we'll do. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start with maybe three or four at a time. Okay, so we'll just go little dots, dot, 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 fold it over, and then I can actually put this down on my surface. Let me flare these in. Okay, and just push those down. The, the force of these long tabs already being in place is kind of really pulling this into position. So I don't really need to even push from the outside. I can just push down onto those tabs. And as you can see, it's uh, popping right into place. So I'll just do four at a time, tuck those under, and then just push down from the inside. Okay, and keep on cruising here. 
probably just do the rest of these in one fell swoop here. Dot, 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 dot. Get rid of that little guy. Fold them, tuck them under, and just push down. Okay. All right, so now you can see there's a little resistance here from this from these two layers, and that's okay. Just kind of gently bend that into position, and you can see our structure. All right, so we need to kind of close this up so it stays in place for us, and we're going to accomplish that with this piece here. Okay, and what I want to do is I'm going to anchor it from the back. So let's apply glue to this piece. Spread that glue out. Okay, we'll take this piece and we'll get it nice and centered right on the back. Uh, this is symmetrical, so it doesn't really matter. Don't you just love how sure I was of myself there? Okay, just line that up right out to the edge onto that tab. Okay, once you have it, you can let it drop, then press down on the entire tab. There we go. Take a look at that seam. Looks good. And now, I think I'm just gonna do one side at a time just to be, just to be safe. This project is a little more challenging than some of the other ones just because of the round nature of the elements, but hey, you know, gotta challenge ourselves sometimes, otherwise we're just staying in place. Okay, just line that up as accurately as you can. There we go, and then you can put this down flat and press down on the tab from the inside. There we go. That looks nice. I don't remember putting that much glue on there. Okay. And we'll finish it off on this side. Apply our glue here. All the way into that little corner there. Spread that glue out to the very edge. And take this side, line it up. I've got ink and glue all over my fingers. That means we're having fun. Okay, there we go. Line that up, put it down, press down from the inside. And there we go. Okay, now we've got it formed. Okay. Got a little bit of a gap there. I'm going to clean that up real quick. Just grab my scrap piece. I'm literally putting it on the very edge. I'll just tuck it right in there. Just paint a little extra glue right in that spot. Now we have um, got a panel that's going over this. See here, that's going to fit on there nicely. Close it off. Okay, a few more little gaps that I'm going to clean up here that I'm not a big fan of. It happens, not the end of the world. that down on your surface too if it helps. There we go. All right, next we're gonna take and apply the panel. Now you'll notice that on one side of the panel there's a little hole and that is again for where the uh, that little, this little guy, the little flag is gonna go. Um, this little part here is gonna be flush with the bottom. 
Okay, everything's gonna be flush on the two sides. So what I think is a good idea here would be to begin by applying glue, especially to the very bottom here so that everything's flush on the bottom. And then just work your way up about, just, just slightly above where that hole is. So we'll get it anchored first. Okay, let's get it anchored. Make sure you match up that little hole. As long as you have it flush on the bottom and flush along the sides, that hole should just match up naturally. Okay, just like mine did there. And I'm gonna put this down on my surface here so I can push down on that, make sure that it's nice and flush and making good contact on that first part. Okay just like that. And now it's just a matter of wrapping it around all the way and you can see how it should match and end up perfectly flush on the other side. Okay. And what we'll do here is we'll apply glue. I'm going to start on this end here. I'm going to grab myself a scrap piece of paper here and I'm going to just have this ready. And then we'll take and apply glue. Let me lift this up. Apply glue to the very bottom of this. Work my way up a little bit, all the way up, all the way down. Don't cake it with too much glue. We don't want it to warp. And I'm gonna take this little piece and I'm gonna use that to spread some glue in this little crevice here and on this side here. Okay, and then very carefully, just kind of work your way around, making sure that is making good contact all the way around as you wrap it. Making sure that it's flush on the front and back, and that it's really hugging that structure as tightly as possible. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over and press down from the other side. There we go. Okay, all right, now, now that we have that panel in place, that looks really nice, we're gonna go ahead and apply our glue to this piece here. I'm gonna put the back on, and I'm just gonna do a semi-thick line here. Okay, and I'm gonna spread that out nice and thin all the way out to the edge. Okay, and we're gonna take this piece with the letter B as in boy on it and just pop that right into place. Make sure it's flush with the bottom. And just run that all the way around, making sure it is nice and flush. There we go, hold that down, give that a few seconds. Okay, keep holding. There we go. The very edge of this here is, I just didn't get enough glue on there. Just hold that down for a few extra seconds. go. Okay, and then finally, we have a little panel that's going to go right on the back like that. So go ahead and apply your glue, nice and easy, nice and thin. Don't need to overdo it. And just make sure you get that centered. Use the bottom as your guide. Straight lines are easier to Kind of make sure that they're straight. Then the curved part will just kind of fall into place. Once that's in there, go ahead and flip it over and press down from the inside so we don't warp this thing. There we go. 
And there's our beautiful panel on the back. Okay, you can see here how this is going to ultimately look once it's all said and done. Okay, all right, cool. So that's looking sharp. We got a few more little panels to put on. So this little guy here, this guy's gonna go on the front like this. Okay, and that should match up perfectly. So what I'll do is I'm gonna begin by just applying glue to maybe just half of this. Go easy with the glue here, maybe a third. Okay, and it's gonna go right there. You can see where kind of the outline of it is. Uh, and also just make sure that it's flush with the front. Okay, make sure it's making good contact throughout and that we're keeping it flush with the front. Okay, now that we have most of it in place, we can take and finish applying glue to the rest of it. All the way to the very edge. Grab it by the end and wrap it around. There we go, perfect. Okay, and then of course we have this little piece, same thing as the front, except the scallops point inward. Well, I guess the scallops pointed inward on the other one too. We'll start by just putting glue on maybe the first four and line that up with that little a little piece that kind of extends beyond the uh, this pattern piece. Just get that in place first. We'll anchor it. And then once that's done, you can let it kind of flop out and we'll apply our glue to the rest of this. It's a little wonky. And just go all the way out to the edge. Okay, just like we did with the front, just very carefully making sure that we keep it nice and flush with the back. There we go. Using my fingers to kind of feel for that flush feel. You can, you can tell. Okay, and that should match up perfectly on the back. Okay, there's our little trim piece. The back is looking fantastic. I don't know why I'm so far away here. Pardon me. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually join this to the base. Okay, and what we're going to do is poke this through. Obviously, you want to make sure that make sure that it's actually pointing. You don't want it this way. You want it, you can tell how there's a long side and a short side, and these are the same length. You want it going this way. You don't want it like this. Not like this, poke this through. Okay, you might need to kind of wiggle that a little bit, just to kind of poke it through there. You want it to go all the way in, and then we'll pop it back out, but initially just get it all the way in, okay, just like that. Then we're going to take glue and apply them to each of these tabs, and I'm just going to demonstrate here. There's that, and then we're going to take that tab, and we're going to fold it down up against this surface. Okay, so let me do, let me do one first. And then I'll show you the end result because it's going to be kind of hard to do this and show you at the same time. It's just easier if I just get one done and show you the rest. Let me just do one of them real quick. Okay, so take a look here. You can see that tab there. Now it's how it's glued to the surface. Now we're going to go over to the to the tab opposite of the one that we just glued down and apply glue to that one and then glue that one down. We'll just kind of stagger it that way. Okay, so I'll put the glue on there so you can see it. OK, 
Okay, so you can see the one that is already glued down just directly across from it is the other tab with the glue on it. And I'm going to take that and press that down onto the surface. We're just going to stagger it. Just make sure that it's up as far as it can go. There we go. Okay, so now that one's glued down right there. And then just pick another tab. Doesn't matter which one at this point. I'm going to grab the one closest to me. There it is. And then go ahead and take that and glue that one down onto the surface of the inside of the mailbox. Okay, there you go. You can see that one's glued down. Now we're going to go over to the other one right across from it. There it is. You can see that little splash of white. Okay, press that down. Whatever's comfortable. I'm kind of using my like two of my fingers to create a platform for my fingers on the inside to push down against so I can make contact. There we go. And that just leaves two more. You can see those two that are pointed in. Put a little bit of glue on both of those. You can do them both at the same time if you want, or do one at a time, whatever's, whatever's comfortable. Okay. And I've got one more here. Press that down. There we go. Okay, next, we're going to take this tab here on the door, and we're going to glue that to the inside here. So actually what you can do, if you fold it out like that, it'll be a lot easier to glue that into place. So we'll go ahead and apply our glue onto this tab. Okay, I'm gonna fold it this way so I can spread that glue out to the very edge of that tab. Okay, but now I'm gonna flip, flare it out the other way again. Oh, there goes that heart. Okay, and just line that up nice and centered should kind of fit in between those two side tabs. Okay, and just press that down into place. These little guys are going to come out to the outside. And it's going to close like that. Okay, it should be nice and flush in there. Just keep holding that. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now it's connected. There you can see how that's connected. And we're going to reinforce this a little bit with a few pieces here. These little pieces here, it says BL. Okay. And these are identical. So what you can do actually is take and glue one on top of the other. that right on top of itself. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll apply glue to the bottom of this. So we're going to stick it right in there. And that's going to hold those tabs down and also kind of reinforce the bottom, make it a little more sturdy. Okay. Pop that all the way in there as far back as it'll go. And then press that down. Can actually put this onto onto its side so that we're not putting added pressure onto the structure. Okay, so now one other thing too that I want to mention is um, if you want, if 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 yours is not staying closed, um, grab some Velcro dots. You can add a Velcro dot to the top of this to keep it nice and closed. Mine because of the natural friction that it's creating is actually staying closed on its own. Uh, so I don't even need that. Um, but anyway, we do have this little flag thing that we need to add to. It's just two layers uh, that are going to go on top of each other. You can kind of sandwich them. And we're going to glue those together. And then, of course, we have some beautiful flowers that we need to put together as kind of the little cherry on top. 
Okay. So just sandwich these back to back. Uh, we have some little hearts that we're going to put on this as well. Okay, just make sure those little holes are matched up there. And then um, I'm just going to use some brads. And obviously you can see where uh, the little flag is going to go. And I do have two little hearts that I need to glue down onto my little flag. There's some markers here on the flag here to help you with the positioning of the heart. Just to make sure it's all... Symmetrical. Got a little polka dot pattern on here. Let's open this up and we'll pop that in. The brad's going to be on the outside, obviously. Just poke that through, poke it through this hole as well, and then just spread that out. Now, obviously, uh, I would not put any anything super heavy in here. This is mostly going to be a decorative thing if you want to put some notes in there. Or some uh, Valentines. This could be a little Valentine holder. That's fine, but I would not put anything super heavy into this thing. Okay, so that's looking sharp. Now, obviously, we still need to make some flowers for it. A little heart's going to go in there. And one more thing that we need to do is put these panels on now that everything's in place. And you can see here that there's going to be a little bit of a border on the top and bottom, but mostly you're going to have a border on the left and right. Okay, so this paper, I think this is like really thin paper, so I need to be careful with how much glue I put on it because I feel like on the top, the glue is kind of showing through a little bit in some spots. So if you have a thinner glue, you got to go easier on it, or as you're applying it, Make sure you spread it out and thin it out. I'll do that with my fingers. I think we're going to be okay. But for this, just make sure you have it nice and centered. Nice even border on the left and right. Okay. And a total of six of these. Just be very careful here. There we go. Three more to go, and then we get to build some flowers. That'll be fun. They're pretty simple. We made up some carnations. And I want to grab some dowels because we're going to do a little bit of shaping. Um, one thing to help you kind of figure out what's what, there's a total of three carnations, okay? And each flower is going to be made up of seven pieces. Okay, and what you want to do is go through all your flowers here. You'll notice that two of the carnations are the same size, and one is a little bit smaller. Okay, and what you'll also notice is that each flower is made up of four larger petals and three smaller petals, or sets of petals, I should say. Okay, so I'm just kind of putting these out. I had them all on my table. And I just went through 
and grouped the ones that are the same size, okay? Now these look kind of the same, but they're not. So you've got the large, let me just put these out here. So when you get them all sorted, it'll be like this. Okay, these are the darker ones. These are the lighter ones. And there's a total of four of these. These are the large ones. And then the next largest, you should have three of them. Okay, and these are all gonna go together. And then next in size are these, slightly smaller than the last one, four of those. And then three of the smallest. And those all go together, seven there, seven there. And then of course you have four large, three small in the darker color, total of seven, one flower, two flower, three flowers. I'm gonna start with the large ones here. I'm gonna grab your dowel and for the first two layers, now this dowel might be a little bit too big, we're gonna curl them up. So we're gonna place the dowel in the center of the petal and then just push it up against the dowel just to give it a little bit of a curve. And I think I'm gonna get a thinner dowel because I don't like how, it's, it's just not curving it enough. There we go, much better. So mess with the diameter, make sure you get a dowel that has the appropriate diameter to give it a good curl, okay? So again, for the first two layers, we're just gonna curl up. And then for the rest of it, we're gonna alternate between up and down. And that's gonna make it look more full and random, which is what we want. Okay. And then we have a little stamen piece that's gonna go in last. Okay, so there's the first two. Now for the rest of these, I'm still on the large ones, relatively large. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna skip one. I'm gonna go up, skip one, up, skip one. And then of course, since it's odd numbered, there's gonna be two of them next to each other that are gonna be going the same direction and that's okay. Now I flipped it over so that I can curl it the same way, but it gives the opposite effect. Okay, that one's gonna go there. You could do it this way too. You could go curl it up, flip it over, curl it up, flip it over, curl it up, flip it over. And again, we're just alternating which ones we curl up, which ones we curl down. Two of them are gonna be going, two of the petals next to each other are gonna be going the same direction. There's no way to avoid that and that's okay. Oh, this one's gotta go down. Okay, and that's gonna go there. And we'll just keep on cruising here. Now, I'm on the smaller petals here, which means that if you want, especially with this one, grab yourself an even thinner dowel. I'm getting to the point where I'm using, this is almost a hibachi stick, and that's okay. There we go, I'll flip it over. The rest of these, I can alternate them, and that one, it was almost a fold. It didn't quite go against that, uh, that dowel very gracefully, and that's okay. I want it to be random. All right, so a few more to go. We'll go up there, flip it over. I'm doing it in the same direction, but I'm flipping this around so that it changes the direction of the fold. There we go, and one more. If you want, you can put a uh, little gold pearl in the center of these flowers, if that's what you wanna do. And one more there, okay, cool. All right, and then our little stamen here, what you're gonna do is just take it and just fold these up. And you can just kind of twirl them around in your fingers. I'm kind of scrunching them in the center so that they kind of stay bunched together. And if you want, I don't think you're really gonna notice it too much, but you can just kind of hit the very tops of these with a little bit of ink. That's optional. They're gonna be mostly tucked away. All right, so back to this. Let's spread these out now. 
in the order that we train them like that. We're going to start with the bottom. Now it's going to be very important that you take your time and just make sure that you give this enough time to really set. So I put glue around that little circle there in the center. Take the next layer and don't put it right on top. Rotate it a little bit so each petal is nice and visible. Okay, and I can't really see that little hole. There we go. I'm going to use that hole just to make sure that I have it centered. That's why we added it. Okay, give that a press. I'm going to use my dowel to like really press that down. And before you go and start shaping this thing, you want to let that glue really, really set. Because we're going to be tugging on these petals quite a bit. And we don't want this to come apart. Okay, so again, make sure you stagger. And I keep putting glue right on the center and I'm losing that little hole. So I'll just use my hibachi to get rid of that glue there. Okay, there we go. Now for the fourth large layer, try to avoid getting glue on that hole. Okay, don't forget to stagger those petals. There we go. All right, and don't worry about the fact that they're kind of bunched together. We're going to fluff that up once we get to that point. But we are going to be patient just to make sure that our glue dries nicely. Okay, so now we're on to the smaller sets of petals, but we're still doing the same thing. We're still staggering, rotating each set. Okay, just a few little dots around that little circle. This is plenty. Don't forget to rotate. There we go. And the last layer. And there we go. Okay, so again, it looks a little flat right now, but just trust me on this. You can actually kind of hold it. As, you, as long as you're holding the middle, you can start taking that first layer, and just kind of folding them up, and then go to the next layer and fold those up. I don't fold them in all the way yet because we still need to add our little stamen. So I'm going to throw a little bit of glue right in the center. And you can see you've got a nice little circle on the bottom there. Just make sure you get that nice and centered. And I'll just leave that alone until it completely cures. I'm going to give it about, well, I don't know, how about the amount of time it takes to put another flower together. How about that? I'm going to just leave it alone. Okay, just make sure you've got all the right sizes here all together. Got four large, three small. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Okay, first two layers, we're gonna curl those up. Okay, there we go. Let's do the next one. And then from now on, for the remainder, I'm going to alternate. So I'm just, instead of flipping it around every time, I'm just skipping one. And now I'll flip it over and repeat the same motion so that these three that I just did, they all fold the opposite direction. Okay, so there's one, two, three, and there's that. And again, up, skip one up, skip one, up, and there's going to be two next to each other. Flip it around, same motion, and then just do the ones that are left. There we go. All right, going to a smaller dowel now, since this is a smaller set of petals, and skip, and skip. 
There we go. Flip it around. Here we go. I've never done these before, I don't think. I think we did a, a two-dimensional carnation one time on a card, but never a 3D one. So this is kind of exciting. Adding more flowers to our collection. There we go. And the last one. So by the time I'm done with this one, you're going to be a pro making these. Okay, we got two together. Flip it up it over and continue folding them against that there we go okay I've got them all in order and don't forget your little stamen I'm just gonna take that I'm gonna texture side out so I'll make sure when I fold it that I get my texture side visible and let's just hit the tips of that with a little bit of ink give it a little bit of variation so it's not so card stocky. Okay. And we can start gluing. So bottom layer and apply our glue. Don't forget, rotate it so that you can see all of the petals in their glory. Okay. Boy, sinus issues are they really kind of bog you down a little bit. My, my, apology, my apologies if I sound like a frog. There we go. Okay. Next one. You need a little more than that. Okay, don't forget to keep rotating those petals. I'm gonna make this as full looking as possible. There we go. All right, a couple more to go. And then I think you can handle that last one on your own. We do have a few additional little small flowers. I'll show you how those go together as well. Very simple. Okay, there we go. And occasionally, if you want, grab that big, big daddy dowel and give that one more little push. There we go. Don't forget to rotate and stagger. And that one didn't do a very good job on. It's so much easier to do this when you keep them flat during the gluing process and then eventually once everything is nice and secure you can go in and start fluffing things up all right i'll put a little bit of glue right in the center grab my little stamens pop that right in the middle okay and we're gonna let that set we can go back to this one now this one should be pretty pretty much fully cured at this point and here's what we're gonna do we're gonna start in the center and start bringing those in nice and easy now if we want to if we want to make them look really lifelike I may take my hot glue gun and add a little bit of glue to get some of those inner petals to kind of overlap and stay overlapped uh, there's I don't think there's enough there's not gonna be enough force on these petals to really keep it super tight in the center so a little bit of hot glue might fix that for us. And actually, I know it will. Okay, but go ahead and keep kind of pushing these up to make this as full looking as possible. Okay, and you can see what we're, we're getting here. It's looking really good. And just take a look at it. And if you feel that one side needs a little extra love, then go for it. But there it is. There's your beautiful carnation. Okay. You 
can actually take this whole thing and just kind of squeeze it together. And there you go. Okay. All right, so this one is not quite ready for that yet because it's still drying. Um, but as I mentioned here, in the center, if you want, you can take and kind of squeeze a couple petals together. You'll need to put some glue right on the very tips of uh, the sides of the petals to get the two to kind of stick together. Okay, that's totally optional. I think it might look nice though. I'll make it look more realistic. Okay, so I'm still waiting for these guys to um, fully set, but you can see here what I did in the center of these was I took a few of these little petals, brought them together, and with my hot glue gun, I just kind of took the, the edges of a few of them. Actually, in this case, it's just three. Um, and I glued them together. So you can see how it's kind of bunched up in the center. It makes it look more lifelike and more realistic. Uh, one thing I didn't do, though, was glue down the stamen before I did that, which was a mistake. But that's okay. You can always fix that pretty easily. If you forget, you can always take your stamen, put a little bit of glue in the center there, and literally just pop a dowel in the center of the stamen, just kind of wrap it around the stamen. Just hold it. And use the dowel as kind of an extension of your fingers to push that into place. Okay, so that looks nice. Um, these are still setting. I'm gonna really let those cure. Um, each of the each of the flowers have this little set of greenery to go with it. And all I did was take and use the dowel at the very base of them, lifted them up about 90 degrees and ran the dowel through to give them that sort of look. Okay, and then of course we have um, some little guys here. Okay, we have two small guys. Uh, one's gonna have uh, this little set of greenery. One's gonna have that. These are the same size as are these. And then you've got that. And then we have one more set of these purple flowers. You've got one large, two smaller. They all have holes. These do not have holes. And then we've got that to go along with it. Okay, and all we're doing with these is, uh, probably go smaller. Essentially doing the same thing we did with the with the carnation, except that they're all going the same direction. We're just curling them out. Okay, like that. And you can kind of bring them up a little bit. And we're gonna go purple and then pink, pink. And I need a smaller dowel for these little guys. And that's just to add some extra color to our final little masterpiece that we've been working on here. Okay. There we go. And then these little guys, you can literally just take and just pinch the very edge of them. Very tip, I should say. There you go, like that. Okay, these little fellas here, uh, we'll do the same thing. Uh, I might need something even thinner than this, or I can use the the straight edge or the pointy edge of my little hibachi stick, since they're so petite. There we go. And we'll just repeat that with the rest of them. That's getting real small. It's still workable. Just be patient. You know, I realize that we still have a little, a little bow to put together as well. We'll do that in a minute. Okay, so get all of your little flowers trained and formed. This might just be easier to do with my fingers. Yep. There we go. 
just taking each petal and just curling it around the tip of my hibachi stick. Here we go. Okay. And then of course you got stamen here. You can take this and just kind of fold them up like that. There we go. All right. So these are super simple. Put a little bit of glue on the larger one, take the smaller one. And just like we did with the carnation, just stagger it. Make sure each of those petals is nice and visible. And since we train them, it is kind of hard to get your finger in there. So use a little dowel to push those into place. Uh, and for these little guys, you can put a little, uh, what's it called? A little pearl in there, whatever, whatever it is you want to put in there to kind of act like it's a little stamen piece. Okay, put this guy in there. I'll line it up and then I'm going to use a dowel to actually push it into place. Like that. We got that. There's a little circular spot on this greenery that you can use to apply glue to. There we go. That little guy's gonna go there. There we go. And let's build this one. Throw a little bit of glue on that. Again, stagger or offset, whatever you want to call it. And press that into place. Don't worry about that glue that seeps through. We're going to need some glue on this layer anyway. Okay, offset. Pardon my head there for a second. There we go. There it is. And then finally, a little glue in the center. Grab our little stamen piece a little off. Just bump it over with my hibachi stick. There we go. Almost glued that to the table. Whoops. A little dot of glue there. Get that nice and centered. And you know what? Let's offset that as well. And press that into place. Cool. All right, so those are done. And I'm going to put a little bit of, uh, put something in the center of those just to make them look nice. Now these flowers, again, should be, should be pretty set. That one looks great. Okay, so this should be, this should be pretty dry now. I'm going to take and just kind of start pulling in the top four or five layers a little bit just to make it look nice and full. Okay. You want to keep it, try to keep it as, um, well, just try to keep it as symmetrical as you can without making it seem, you know, unnatural, I guess you could say. Okay. And like I mentioned on this one here, I took, took three of the little petals and kind of glued them together. Uh, hot glue is probably going to be your best friend to accomplish that just because, well, you need it to kind of grab instantly. If you're using regular glue, it probably won't, it won't grab it and you have to sit there and wait. And by the time you wait, it'll probably go back to its original position and you'll get nothing accomplished. So I would just squeeze out. Just a tiny little dot of glue onto the side of one of those petals. I love hot glue. That's a joke. And then bring in another one. And you can see how it instantly just grabbed it. Okay, might need to give it a little extra push. Okay, so there's two of them together. And then I'll probably try to take maybe this one here. I'll put a little dot right there. 
can put this one, push that one up against that there. And then this little guy is going to go right there. Try to keep those stamen inside. Naturally, they're always in the center. And then, yep, there we go. There's really no right or wrong way to do it. Just a very tiny mount is all you need. You don't want to I don't want to make it look all messy in there. There we go. Okay. There. So I know that looks a little strange right now, but now what we're going to do is just take these and flare them in a little bit to kind of make it more symmetrical. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's looking more carnation-like. Okay, and then you can kind of keep working layers up, kind of folding them in a little bit until you have the desired look. And I'm very happy with that. All right, so finally, we're going to take and attach our carnations to the little bits of greenery that we have here. And it's okay if we, these are going to eventually just be flat up against the mailbox anyway. I wanted to curve the little green parts so that there's a little bit of dimension to them so they're not so uh, completely flat, but they are going to straighten out a little bit. Okay, but go ahead and put a little dot there, grab your carnation, get it nice and centered, and just press those into place. Use a little dowel to help apply some force there in the center. Okay. There we go. Get that pointy part right in there. There we go. Okay. And the way that we're going to structure this, now you'll notice on the side of the mailbox here, we have, there's some markers to help you with the placement of everything. The large flower, okay, is going to go right up here. And you can see that we want the two, want two of the little green pieces going off to the left and right and one up at the top. Okay, and I think probably hot glue would be your best friend here as well. Let me turn mine back on. Mine just like shuts off automatically after what I think is not enough time. Just do a little dot of glue there. And pop him into place, like so. Okay. All right. And we want to stagger the colors here. So I've got the light red. I'm going to go with the dark red here. And these little guys, these little guys are going to go right here. So this one's going to go right here. Pop that right in the middle of those little markers. There we go. Okay. And then we've got the this little large flower. It's going to go right here. The little green parts, you want those sticking out. I'm go like that. Okay. Just a little dot of hot glue. That guy's going right there. Beautiful. Looks great. Okay. Now down here is where we're going to put this little carnation. Okay. And we're going to have to flatten him out a little bit in order for him to fit. Okay, so just take a look at take a look at how I have it here. Uh, there's a little bit of it that's going to be touching the post, a little bit of it's that's going to be touching the base. So what I would do is I would do a little bit of glue on this pedal and a little bit on this pedal. I don't think that center is really going to touch too much. OK, 
Okay, and then let's just get it right in place and just kind of pop it right in between. Make sure it's grabbing out of something. There it goes. Okay, there it is. And it'll find its little, it'll find its spot. Okay, just like that. Where I pop that one, and then we'll put one on the actual post, hanging probably just right around, right around here. I think looks nice. You can put yours wherever you want. And yes, I'm using a little bit of hot glue. Okay, we'll have that just kind of hanging right there. You can put it on an angle too, which is fine. Okay, there we go. If you have a little bit of that wispy stuff from the hot glue hanging off, just yank it off. Because it, to me, it never looks that great. Okay, all right, finally, uh, we do have a little bow for the front that I totally forgot about. And then of course, there's a little butterfly. So let's put the bow together. What we're gonna do is, let me move this out of the way. It's making everything out of focus. Here we go. Grab your bow and Place a dowel right at the base of it. There's a little rectangle in the center with some score marks. So just above that, and then just run the dowel through to start giving it a little bit of a curve. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, you'll notice there's another rectangle here. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right on that rectangle and press it onto that little rectangle in between the two loops and just hold it in place. Give it a few seconds. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on the other one. Pop that right in the center. Okay. And then take the tail and you can actually put some glue. Oh, nope, you know what, Never mind. Before we do that, this little piece here, what we're gonna do is take it and center it over the bow and then just fold it. There's no score marks on this because you can just do this yourself. And then apply some glue to the other side and pop that right on top of itself. And just press and hold that down for a moment. There we go, so it should look like that. Now, we'll just take that, apply some glue, and pop that right onto, almost had it upside down, right onto the tail. There we go. Okay, and that's gonna go right here on the front. Okay, so make sure you glue that into place. I'm gonna do some hot glue on that one. And then we just have a little butterfly. It's gonna go right next to the flowers. Yeah, and there's one other thing that I could have done too, is take and kind of curl the tail out a little bit. You can just bend it gently. There we go. Okay, so you see what that looks like. And then finally, on the side here, you'll notice that there's a set of little markers there, and that is for your little butterfly. So you can take and just put some glue right on the body of the butterfly. It's a little out of focus again because it's looking at the mailbox. Pop that right on there and there you have it. Okay, so that's what kind of what you want it to look like. You can always kind of mess around with the petals a little bit if you want to fluff them up or mess around with them. But there you go. And there is your beautiful mailbox ready to go. So that's gonna do it for our mailbox. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please visit us on our YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. While you're there, hit the little bell so you get notifications anytime we release a new project, whether it be paid or free. 
And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, I'd love to see it and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Official. So I hope you had a blast and as always, I look forward to crafting with you again.